Hey guys, welcome to Pig in Perspective. I want to say that this week the Pig in Perspective hosts are going to be taking a break. So you are stuck with us subs for the next for this next week. And since we don't have a sub for every day of the week, it's going to kind of be a short week for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's go ahead and roll my little intro thing right now. Okay. This one comes from the username Forkful of Pie. This writer says, uh, as followers of a relatively new religious tradition or new reconstructions of older traditions, do you find that there's anything missing from your respective path or any voids that you've come across within your spiritual framework that you've had to go at it on your own so to speak if so where do you draw inspiration okay I want to say first off thanks Kara for giving the sub such a hard question this week uh, wow that that's a very long question it's very involved so Let's get on with the first topic. I kind of broke this up into little parts, so it'll be easier. Okay, part one, go on. The first question is, do you find that there's anything missing from your path? Now, to answer this question, uh, first off, I've melded different types of faith in with my Christian faith. So... I haven't seen anything that's really missing, um, and if there is anything that would be missing in my practice, it, it would be the fact that I am still new to my practice, and therefore, uh, because of the the mindset that some of my relatives are in about uh, witchcraft and about paganism and Wicca and all that, I haven't come out of the broom closet. So that would probably be one thing that's missing from my path is the ability to go and say, yes, you know, I do this. I practice, you know, witchcraft. I, you know, I believe that there is a nature force, you know, at work. And that, yes, it is, you know, the, the almighty, the, uh, the god or, you know, something you know, a universal effect that's ruling us all, but beyond that, or, well, in tandem with that, I believe that this God or this, uh, this spiritual force is within everything, and therefore, you know, we can find the beauty of this Almighty, of this God, within everything, you know, and that... This kind of goes on to a an off topic, and if I can digress just for a moment, you know, some people have asked, you know, what would, you know, how would people come to Christ, or how would people come to the Christian God if, you know, they were in a country that has never heard of the Christian God? And a lot of times what they're what the answer is from a lot of the prominent uh, preachers and and all that out there they often say well they would see God's beauty in everyday life like in in even the sunrise and the sunset or within the moon or something like that and uh, <clears throat> in uh, I kind of understand that more now than what I did before because seeing the beauty in even everyday things such as the sun rising and the sun setting and uh, the moon and its cycles and even just sitting around outside and experiencing nature you know for all its worth it's really a quite a, a testament to just sit there and and experience an almighty force of some sort, whether you believe it is a goddess or a god, or you know the the all the the universe, you know it's really quite 
a testament to to that spiritual force that you can sit there and experience this force in everything, not just you one day a week in a building where you go to compare clothing styles. Uh, okay, I think that answers the, the first question. I hope it answers the first question. If any of you have any further questions about the first question, please, down in the bottom bar. Uh, I don't want this to go too, too long because I still need to get to sleep here sometime today and edit this and all that. So, on to the second question now. Okay, the second question is, are there any voids that you've come across within your spiritual framework that you've had to go at it on your own? Um, since my practice is such an odd practice, because you don't hear of many uh, Christian Wiccans or Christo, Christo Pagans or Christo Witches, you know, Christian Witches, you don't hear of many of those. So it's kind of a newer practice. I think even the Trinitarian uh, tradition has only been going on, I think, less than 10 years. And it might have been going on a little longer than that. If it has, I'm sorry. But, you know, I, I don't know a lot about the Trinitarian tradition. And I want to go out and get the book and everything to read it. And that's another book to add to my reading for the year and a day. Um, but I digress again. And if you hear paper, um, I write down all my stuff for YouTube now so I can actually keep a solid frame of mind. Um, any voids that I come across, um, the, it's pretty much a situation of uh, figure out what you're going to do type of situation. And uh, it's just a lot of getting into whatever you want finding out what fits for you and uh, just go at it on your own type thing. It, uh, that's kind of redundant to, the, to actually the question and uh, I don't know really how to answer a question like that because I've come across voids that since my, my uh, practice isn't widely practiced it is a, a go at it and find out what you believe for yourself and what you hold true to rather than what holds true to everybody else. I hope that makes sense, guys. Um, moving on to question number three. Question number three is, how do you handle uh, situations where you go at it on your own? And from where do you draw your inspiration? Um, I usually handle this those types of situations by reading and just thinking it over, um, getting more into what the bare basics of my faith is. Um, bare basics of my faith would would consist of, okay, I believe in a God. Uh, that rules as not only a god, but also a goddess. Okay, I believe that that's a core belief of mine. I still believe in Jesus Christ. It is a core belief of mine. I, I believe that for, uh, what is it now, 10, 10 years? 11 years, 11 years, I'm sorry. So, I believe that for 11 years, and I'm still very much at it. So, you know, I, I go to the core beliefs of, of what my faith is, and then I build up from that. Um, one, one type of void w was whenever I was studying the elements. Um, whenever I first started my practice, I looked at the elements, I said, well, how does this fit? You have earth, air, fire, water and in spirit of course and i already believed in spirit because you know i believe that you know god is a, a spirit or uh, you know something that you feel or that you experience more than you know a physical body and i believe that jesus christ was that body 
uh, but that the spirit is really, you know, it, it, that part held true to me. Let's just say that. Okay. But uh, with earth, air, fire, and water, I had uh, kind of a, a sit-down moment, and I had to find out, okay, what what do I believe about earth, air, fire, and water that hold true to me? Well, earth, of course, you know, created or in, in some way is here, okay? And uh, so I, I took that, okay, in, in, my, in my belief, I, I've always believed that God created earth. You know, God's, uh, the all, the universe, created earth. Okay? When, whenever I say God, guys, I, I don't necessarily mean just one God. I just mean uh, <clears throat> a manifestation of everything. God, goddess, everything. So, if you hear God, don't take it as me trying to preach to you or anything like that. I'm, that's not what I'm trying to do. But, uh, but I, I took Earth, I said, well, you know, this, this God created Earth, okay, and He sustains it, or she sustains it, you know, Spirit, it sustains Earth. Um, air, of course, you can't live without breathing, scientifically proven, you can't live without breathing air. Okay. Fire the sun the sun is made of fire you know scientific fact again you can't live without a sun boom done no matter how much you want to dispute that you can live in your house forever and just turn on the heater even then you got fire you know an awfully cold dark place if you didn't have a sun um water if you uh, if you look scientifically, I think it's 70%, even biologically, I think it's 70% is what, uh, is what you are made up of, of water. And so, scientifically and biologically, that is true, that you cannot live without water. You would, it would just not be possible. So, I found the elements as a way of life-sustaining, um, a, in the... The essence within the elements is uh, is like the energy and every and everything within the elements is another essence of of the God or the spirit, whatever you want to call it. Um, and second part of that of that question is where do I draw inspiration? To draw inspiration, I usually go either into books, like I said before, and I I try to read. I'm not a fast reader and all that, so I try to get some reading done here and there. But uh, I also ask the owner of my local witchy shop, and she's taught me a lot, and uh, I also learn from YouTubers. Uh, I mean, you guys out there, I learn more probably from YouTube than I could probably from any book that I have on my shelf, and I have a whole shelf full of books here, a whole bookcase full of books, and I probably learned more from watching videos on YouTube about whatever it is that I'm having trouble with or whatever it is that I want to learn about than I do actually from reading a book. So that's kind of a thank you out to you guys, and uh, with that, I think I'm done with this video and I've actually been looking for a sign off you guys so I think I've got one and it's it kinda goes with what Eric did last week on the ancestors uh, topic and since I work with my ancestors a lot I might just take that one and go with it I'll talk to you later guys and until next time, may your ancestors be with you.